they're going now to look for a job. Mm -hmm. So if I, I know that, okay, there's this particular institution, or I want to be retained mm -hmm. at where I am serving at, yeah. what are the things that, aside what you mentioned, what are the things that I could also look out for in the company? And I can say, okay, maybe this one will suit me best. Let me go and apply for a job here. Yes, yes. So I, I tell people that even now it's easier looking for a job and people look at me. Hey, but <laughs> you have social media you, now. Yes, you have LinkedIn. So the first thing I ask, where is your LinkedIn profile? That's where we start the coaching. And I always tell people that LinkedIn has come in to give us the platform for us to, to market ourselves. ourselves. Yes, and to get jobs. But people say that on LinkedIn, a lot of people lie a lot. No, really. Because you see, you look, you look, you go through <laughs> one particular profile, you look at the picture <laughs> that is on there, and the achievements of the person is just overwhelming. You are selling yourself. You are selling yourself. So I tell people, if you are looking for a job, and I, over the years, I think I've been on LinkedIn over 10 years. Okay. And I tell you, it's one of my best social media network. When I wake up in the morning, the first page I go is LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yes, yes, it really works. And I could personally testify that my last two jobs, I got it through LinkedIn. It worked. I was there when I got a message in my DM that we are looking for this role. Are you interested? Let us proceed. So the first thing, right after service, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, create one. Get, get one, okay. Invest into it. It's mm. like your CV that you have made public. And one good thing about it is it gives you opportunities not only in Ghana, but the whole world. So even if you, we claim there are no jobs in Ghana, mm. you could get a recruiter coming from across the world to take you. Then also work on your CV. It's interesting, sometimes somebody calls, oh, I need a job, send me your CV. It takes one week before the person tells me. <laughs> I look back and say, sorry, hey, this know, person is not really looking about, for a job. Thinking about certain things that you have to put on there that you feel, because I've been through it myself, mm -hmm. putting together my CV. Yes, I know that this and this is what I've done. These are the schools that I've, t I've attended and my certifications and then all that. But then to know exactly what's right thing or information to put on the CV is another problem. Now we even have support. So what I tell people is let your CV be a living document. Mm. I always update my CV. So always. even if I, I, I always, always update it. You don't wait till you are looking for a job before you update it. I tell you, then you forget a lot of things. Yeah. So let it be a moving document. And uh, now we have career mentors around I, I work with one organization, the Mentoring Cafe, where we put, bring on board um, fresh graduates or anybody looking for a job. We link you to a mentor and you go through like a 12 weeks program where you get to meet. The person might not give you the job, but the person will guide you into getting a job.